What's up everybody? We're going to do five killer tones with the Eventide Ultra Tap pedal today. This is the latest installment in their Dot Nine series of pedals. If you haven't checked out my videos with Black Hole and Micro Pitch Delay, go and check those out. They will give you a good overview of the form factor, the ins and outs, and the basic workings of this whole series of pedals, and why you might be interested in a standalone version of an algorithm rather than something like the H9. Uh, basically, different strokes for different blokes, but we're not here to talk about that. We are just here to kind of dial in some wicked guitar tones. I was sent this pedal by Eventide, and I did do some testing with it before release, so that's why I'm not doing a traditional review here. I think the five killer tones format on this channel suits us really well because it can do everything from basic rhythmic delays to glitchy stuttery effects, to reverse reverbs, to uh, rhythm tap delays, all the sort of stuff we're about to hear. So let's do it. For the first example, I want to take a straightforward dotted eighth note rhythmic delay and transform it using the taps feature in here. I'm using Eventide Device Manager via USB, as you can see on the screen. So you can see both sets of controls on there. If you're on the pedal, you can, of course, use the second function button to get this lower layer of controls. But at the moment, we've got a single tap. You can see no feedback, spread and taper are in the middle, no slurm, no chop, tones in the middle. It's a really straightforward, classic delay effect. I would almost argue this is now considered the classic delay effect, thanks to the edge. <laughs> So without touching anything else, you can just increase the number of taps on this. And this is really fun to play around with and just listen to what the number of taps do to the overall effect. Let's just bump it up a little bit. <laughs> The stereo spread on that is awesome as well. Let's take it to four because this is where I want to use it. I just kind of think of Ultra Tap as like the ultimate multi head echo, where, you know, on stuff like a Binson, I think you get up to four heads on here. Well, we've got 64 heads on here. But let's go for the classic four head echo. <laughs> And that's without playing around with the tone or the feedback or spread, taper, slurm or the chop effect. Let's just have a listen to the difference between that initial setting and then this four head setting. This is a guitar solo for the Ragdoll song, Rust. <laughs> For this next example, let's go for a totally different kind of tone. I want a really messy, dirty, kind of chopped up, glitchy sound for this. So I'm gonna use the chop function on here. For this example, I've got chop set to a square wave. You can see I can set the speed if I've got it on this kind of section here. Otherwise, this control here will control either the rise on the swell parameter or the release on the trigger. Again, no slurm just yet, we're gonna get there. But I've just increased the taper a little bit, 
pulled the spread down a tiny bit, added some feedback, and we have four delay taps in there again. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I will pull all the mix out and we can just hear the dry guitar tone. <laughs> So I have this awesome stuttery, glitchy delay. If I wanted to, I could slurm it right out and smear these repeats. But for my taste, I actually like it sounding quite rhythmic and really cut off in that example. What we're gonna hear is this square wave sound for a rhythm track, and then I just kind of pulled it back to one of these saw looking parameters, and I added a little bit of pre-delay and just brought the spread down and the taper up a little bit for a kind of lead thing. So you get something like this. Which is kind of cool. You get these, I don't know, really sharp sounding ping pong delays. Check it out in the track. In this example, we're gonna get slurm and taper involved. I've set up a straightforward two tap lead delay setting here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the taper back to the middle here and bring it slurm down. I've also brought the tone control down a little bit just to kind of low pass the delays a little bit. I really like doing that, but let's just have a listen to the core delay tone at the moment. Two taps with some feedback. <laughs> Awesome stuff, that is really, really wet and glorious. I like it, but this is kind of like what the old Lexicon PCM units used to do. We can use slurm to basically smear out or diffuse our echoes. So let's bring slurm up and have a listen to what it does. I love that it's called slurm as well. I'm watching a whole bunch of Futurama at the moment and uh, that's just such a great name for this parameter. <laughs> And then what I'm gonna do is bring the taper control down, which gives us this. And you can really crank the slurm control up if you want more of a kind of reverby style wash. has a little bit of a kind of modulated chorus feel to it as well, but I like it down here. And just to kind of put that wonderful halo around notes when you're playing lead guitar, here's an example with this tone over a track by Backing Tracks by Tim. <laughs>
For this next example, this is something really, really fun you can do with, you know, eight or more delay taps. I think I've got about 10 dialed in at the moment. I like to call this a pyramid delay where you have a ping pong delay where the repeats increase in volume and the time between successive repeats gets shorter. So we can do that perfectly with ultra tap. A lot of people would call this a rhythm tap delay where we can turn the spread up and the taper down. That's going to achieve both of those functions where the echoes get louder and they get closer together. Again, taps on 10. I've cranked the length right up here. No slurm, toned down a little bit. This one is really, really fun with lead guitar, which we'll hear over kind of like an ambient Floydy thing in a second, but I'll just give you a raw example with some clean guitar. <laughs> You know, if you like delay, this is delay's favorite delay. Let's check it out with a lead tone now. One last example before we go, uh, I call this a ramp up reverb. It's got a little bit of that even tied black hole thing going on, but it's the example where we use all 64 delay taps. You knew we were gonna get to this. We had to use all 64 at some point. Unlike the pyramid delays, I've actually turned the spread up past noon and the taper down a little bit. We've got lots of slurm, a bit of pre-delay. The tone control is down to make it sound really dark and I like that kind of thing. If you don't want that, you can crank the tone control up and get a much brighter verby kind of wash. And there's a little bit of feedback happening on there. I'm gonna play you all out on this example. I will say thank you all so much for watching the video. Thank you to Eventide for sending me an ultra tap pedal to check out and make some noise with. You will definitely be hearing more of this pedal on the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and enjoy this final example. Thanks. Mm -hmm.